Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to do Sagittarius 15 to 30th of November. Let's see what's gonna happen with you guys. This is a general reading. Take it how it resonates for personal readings and more accuracy. You can book me on Instagram or WhatsApp me for personal readings. Follow me on Instagram for some earth, fire, water sign readings for November and November horoscopes. Let us check what's going to happen in detail on YouTube. Subscribe to my channel if you're new here. Hit the bell icon. Sagittarius. Oh, wow. You're heading towards a full-on commitment, guys. Or this connection or someone you're dealing with is into you full-on. Okay. I feel you made someone really, really, really happy. I do see this person could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius interested in you <clears throat> or wanting to marry you. Or you may have an offer of marriage from this person. <clears throat> wow. I feel that the moment you guys start talking to each other, I feel that communication is going to lead you to marriage. So the communication is going to be so good and you guys will feel so compatible with each other like you guys will fall in love and not think even a second time for marriage so i do see an opportunity like that coming up but i do see also that there are many competitions okay uh maybe this is not just one person who will be approaching you you have many options maybe you started looking for options Maybe there are many options who might be having an eye on you, but I do see that you have to find the correct person, okay? So I feel with the communication, you'll definitely find out the one for you. And I do see there's someone around who will give you the exact balance, you know, um, in life. And I do see someone is bringing stability for you. I do see this person could be a aries sagittarius or a leo and i see they will struggle with competition because there's not just one person who wants you there will be many options who will want you this could be an online connection i do see that you're looking for online uh, connections and do see uh, you may meet this person through digital media or social media and not in person first pisces energy okay yes so there's going to be a lot of confusion for you in the beginning but a lot of overwhelming energy because you wouldn't expect that so many people are interested in you so you may have more than one offers coming in which may sagittarius make you feel like a boss and you might try to you know figure out which one is the right one i do see that the person who may come towards you with a true offer could be a leo Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. But I do see that you will avoid, you know, focusing on one person because you'll be too much into yourself. I feel your self-esteem is going to rise and uh, you'll feel at the top. And I do feel that you may get so boosted by this that you would stop thinking rationally. Okay, you, you may take a rational decision. So you need to stay humble while you're going up, while you're ego is boosted while you're you know feeling very passionate enthusiastic or all the attention is on you still stay humble because i do see a soulmate someone who will be very compatible with you but i feel you need to be humble and stay practical while making a decision i do see there's libra gemini aquarius maybe who will who is like focusing or who will focus on you this could be someone from the past as well someone who's married but any which way i do see a lot of options interested in you very different energy guys but yeah someone will stalk you like literally libra gemini aquarius will literally stalk you and your ways and i feel that the new person is going to make their way towards you very very slowly so you need to be keeping your eyes open and look out here and there where your option could be yes so with the knight of pentacles i feel you're, you're the one who's going to make a move towards them whoever is the masculine over here is going to take the first step all right but the communication is the key all right the communication is going to really make you guys fall in love yes there's, there's a very strong opportunity of uh 
maybe you guys are at same work you may share the same tastes um financially career wise okay maybe you guys work at the same place but i do see that uh, sagittarius there's a marriage involved and i do see the family may also be involved in this and if you see that it's nothing like that has happened to you till now it's very soon going to happen deception so yes with the two of swords and the deception card there's someone from the past maybe a libra gemini aquarius trying to re-enter poke you because they are codependent on you they think that they cannot function without you and that you need to be with them they see love as a twisted kind of a feeling and not a spiritual thing so i feel that there's someone who you were dealing with and still that person is trying to reconnect to you because you in a way heal them or you in a way kind of help them you know uh, with their unhealed wounds because they have some family issues from the past i feel that you need to out, get out of this codependency because i do see that you're going to invite two people into your life like two one is someone who will be a new person who will just uh be the best one for you okay and another one that you have some lingering feelings for from the past so that person could be married as well so stop reconciling with heavy situations heavy people heavy energies yes i told you there are two types of uh, people who are approaching you one from the past and another which is more than just one option and you have to find out which one is the best and i feel that communication will help you find out and the kind of a relationship or a connection that you were waiting for sagittarius is coming all right it's just worth waiting for it's coming so with this i also mentioned soulmate energy in uh beginning so i do see that you will find someone who will understand your worth who will see your worth who will find you lovable and this person could be someone you already have met once or this could be someone who would be from your past lives that means your soulmate okay so you will be dealing with two kinds of energies one from the past another one from the recent new okay and the one who are coming into your life are more than one safety to look out for it i told you with the nine of swords and the seven of uh, swords yes very unstable energy is trying to poke you into your life and i feel that they've given you a lot of heavy karma they've given you a lot of uh, mental stress because this person is very negative they're narcissist full-on narcissist you were dealing with this this and this so much brown and black over here so very dark energy that you're dealing with uh, who is not honest with you, who makes false promises, who may be committed to someone but involved with you. This is the person that you need to release in order to find true love. And I do see a Gemini maybe or a Cancer, could be any sign that's coming towards you where there will be equal give and take and you guys will understand your, you each you you guys will understand each other very sensitively and i do see a soulmate a strong soulmate bond happening into marriage so that totally depends how you want to take things through the message is being sent to you neither source so i feel that you need to take an action now enough is enough you cannot stick to someone um traumatic like that okay someone who's causing you trauma and i do feel that you're trying to run away from that kind of energy but then don't go back to it if you want positive changes because you've been waiting for this kind of a love from a long time and i feel the time is here but you need to let go of the codependency from the past okay if you want to manifest the relationship of the lifetime because i do see marriage around i do see a heavy uh focus on marriage into your life someone maybe more than one people will come towards you so you have to decide so with this i do see a positive transformation with the death card there's going to be an ending of the past and beginning of the new so that is the reading for my sagittarius i hope you guys have uh, enjoyed the reading if you did don't forget to like subscribe share this video and hit the bell icon till then we'll see you next time bye bye guys